Well, I'm making this quick video for assembling the quick tent. This is a 48 by 24 by 72 inch tent. The frame is easy enough to figure out how to get together. You just look at the instructions. Uh, the, each pole is labeled. So it's, a, it's really simple. I didn't make a video on that because you'll figure that out without any problem because all of the poles are labeled. After that, um, it gets a little tricky. One thing I did do that uh, <clears throat> you might decide to do is I put tape around the joints uh, just to make sure that they don't pull apart. And uh, put tape here. You have to put tape here because they don't quite fit. They're a little bit longer and it's probably to keep it from bowing. But if uh, you just tape those in place there, <clears throat> you should be good to go. Now for the tricky part is how do I know <clears throat> what's the top and the bottom of this stupid thing? Because when you take it out, it's there's no marking to show you what's the top and the bottom. Well, one indication is going to be this piece up here. Uh, there's a piece, there's an opening for uh, venting on the top. And that's what you should start with. The instructions don't tell you, but put that on the top first. And there's a zipper attached to that. Just start zipping the zipper and everything else will start falling into place. Here's one tip for the zipper. When you go to zip it, take your finger and put your finger behind this flap. It seems to be the flap that the zipper gets caught on. There's a, it's kind of dark down here so you can't really see it very well, but there's a flap in the back of the zipper and the zipper keeps catching on that and then it doesn't zip. So if you put your finger like this so that you keep that away and then zip with your finger behind it keeping that flap out I found that uh, there's much less problem getting it to zip. Once you get it halfway zipped then it's time to bring the bottom part under. There's a separate piece that ships with it. Uh, that piece I assume sits in the bottom. There is a bottom part to the uh, the main mylar portion that's connected that you put underneath it and the separate piece you'll put into the tent after it's assembled and I suppose that's just to protect the bottom here. So I'm going to continue uh, putting this bottom piece under it, get all the corners into it, and then zip it up, and it should be mostly assembled at that point. Okay, so I've zipped the top zipper up here, and the bottom zipper comes around. So now I just have this flap uh, for the opening. So it's pretty much fully assembled. And uh, starting the zipper is really the key to <clears throat> getting this thing to come together. So assemble the frame, follow the instructions for that, tape the uh, joints, uh, that will help. Uh, to summarize, start with the top piece. And you know the top piece because you've got this vent uh, here on the top, so start there. Um, when you position the vent, uh, the vent will be closer to one side, that's the back side. So if you want to know which is the front, which is the back, when you're assembling it um, and you get it wrapped around the top, the, uh, the vent is closest to the back. So if you, want to, if you want the front to be on the other side, the frame is exactly the same on both sides, so it, it doesn't matter. But if uh, you're in a small space and you're assembling it, you might need the door to be in a certain orientation in order to get it into your small space. So just know that uh, that vent is towards the back when you start assembling it. These uh, vent openings at the top here will be towards the top and the framed windows down there that you can access via flap on the outside are towards the bottom. So that should give you some orientation. That's not, you can kind of see that in the pictures, but uh, frankly, until you start putting it all together, it starts making more sense to you uh, because it's just this amorphous flap of mylar that you're waving around in your room trying to get it over this frame. You, 
it's really like a circus bear trying to get this thing together. Uh, but just for a few minutes, it's really simple after you figure out that you get the top piece on first, get the zipper going, then it's really easy. But it, until that point, I was a little confused. If I had that tip, it would have really helped me, so that's why I wanted to make this video. Start with the top, start the zipper, and then everything should come together pretty easily.